All right, we got Dynamite coming up tonight. We have three Continental Classic matches and two title matches. We have got Jay White versus Jay Lethal, John Moxley versus Roosh, and Swerve Strickland and Mark Briscoe, all in tournament matches here tonight. And then two titles on the line. It is Christian versus Adam Copeland for the TNT title. And it is Tony Storm versus Sky Blue for the AEW women's title. And, of course, they've got a pay-per-view coming up in uh, three weeks or so, a little over three weeks. And it uh, be interesting to see what they do in these two title matches because I do not expect Sky Blue to beat Tony Storm. And, you know, Christian and Adam Copeland is just a random television match. That seems like it should be a much bigger match. And I'm wondering if there's going to be an angle tonight, whether it be somebody returns to screw Adam Copeland Somebody turns on Adam Copeland. I got one person I'm thinking about. So I guess we'll find out tonight. I presume I presume there's going to be something leading to a rematch with the stipulation at the World's End show. But I guess we'll see. I would think so. No, no reason to give this away in its entirety already yet. I mean, I know that Edge has blown through Luchasaurus and Nick Wayne and delivered concertos to both of them. So it seems like, okay, the only thing left is Christian. But to me, it's way too early to pull a trigger on doing this. So have a great TV match tonight as much as you can. Have a great angle that leads to something. And I think that's the way to go. I have a feeling when it comes to Tony Storm and Sky Blue that that title is staying exactly where it's at, especially because we're getting a special entrance tonight from Tony. Oh, man, I got people mad. What do you mean, random television match? Listen, everybody, listen. Do you know how long this company has stretched out matches? I mean, we're still waiting for Swerve and uh, and uh, Keith, Lee. Keith Lee, by the way. There's a pay-per-view in three weeks, okay? It's one thing when they were doing a pay-per-view every three months, okay? I get it. Every three months you're doing a pay-per-view. you got to get some, uh, some big matches on TV or whatever. But there is a big pay-per-view coming up at the end of, of December. They need big matches for the pay-per-view. And I'm sorry, Edge versus Christian, Adam Copeland versus Christian, is one of the biggest matches this company has right now. And they're doing it for free on television. Okay, there's got to be a reason for this. There's going to be an angle. There's going to be something to set up a bigger match, a bigger rematch at the pay-per-view. This is this is unusual. They go to Canada all the time, DJ. I know they need some for Montreal, but like it hasn't helped that much for the Montreal ticket sales are still about four thousand. So, uh, yeah, Montreal screw job is what's going to happen. I'm telling you guys. Oh, God, don't even. Bring that up. Oh, you know what's going to happen. There's going to be a Montreal screw job. You want to take a bet? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, because oh. you know what? I'll take this bet. I'll take this bet because I can come on here tomorrow and curse Tony Khan and all of his booking minions into the ground if they go ahead and decide to rake this one back up and raise this one from the dead. We have had so many of those in the last 25, 30 years, whatever it's been now, since that initial Montreal Survivor Series that it's tired, it's lame, it never gets done well, and unless there's some amazing new twist, I'm not interested in seeing it. I'll take one of the other pages from throughout history where we just have an angle that has happens that's not a screw job that ends up pushing edge and christian into another match all right fine i i think there's gonna be a screw job tonight so i will bet you it's so stupid i gotta think of something silly okay so well okay make what's you the wear screw something job wacky then? on the air something like that what's the screw job then what do you think it's gonna be how do you think it plays itself nick out? wayne's a... mother screwing edge out of the title because he speared her child and gave him a concerto huh no i think it's obvious where this is going or, Shana. you know, Nick's been gone for a long time. He could just return. You know, Nick Nick could actually return and screw him tonight. And then uh, Nick Wayne's mom screws him at the pay-per-view. Build up to another pay-per-view. There's a lot of ways you can go. Yes. I guess Jordan Oliver won't debut. I see that Nick has uh, trademarked East-West Express. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, Christian can have some more kids and uh, enter the fold. Maybe he can have some, uh, some kids with Shayna. How about that for a screw job? Bob? I would like to uh, wish the best to Wes Lee, who is uh, 
badly injured, although we don't really know exactly what. We know he's having back surgery. Sciatic. And he mentioned that he could not feel his legs, which is certainly not good. Paul, but he was, I can't feel my legs. He was in the ring, and he did have a uh, he did have a crutch. So I mean, he can he can walk and everything, but uh, he's he's uh, he's in bad shape. So he is off the pay per view this Saturday. He will be out eight to twelve months with back surgery, and uh, the timing. I mean, there's never good timing, but uh, you know they did this Dominic Mysterio thing for months and months and months, and uh, and Saturday was going to be the big day, and a couple days before, he ends up getting hurt, and so uh, he's never going to get that big win over Dominic. He has been replaced by Dragon Lee, who, uh, I don't know, he may or may not beat Dominic. I mean, it's not like you can have Dominic, you could have him be champion for 8 to 12 months, but I don't think that's going to happen. So uh, they got to do something, and uh, maybe, my guess is Dragon Lee is winning the title, because uh, normally, traditional pro wrestling, and it is Shawn Michaels in charge here, it's like when you have a match and you have to put in a replacement, I mean, A... You know, Wes uh, was probably going to win the title anyway. And B, got to make those fans happy that the original match isn't taking place. So Dragon Lee winning the North American title, I think it's highly likely, is coming Saturday. You could definitely do that. Although I do think that Dragon Lee is the perfect person to take that United States title off of Logan Paul whenever they decide to do that. He's Dar- Dragon Lee is already in the, what is it, six-way or whatever it's going to be, you know, going after him. So... I think he would be perfect, and it only makes sense considering that Logan Paul is tied all up with the LWO and a Dragon Lee Escobar feud, maybe leading into Escobar against Ray, because I would love to see Mask versus Hair for a WrestleMania one of those nights. Maybe that's the way you can go. We got a, uh, well, we'll get into that after the break. We're almost at a break here, but I will note that uh, the lineup for Collision, non spoiler lineup, is Brian Danielson versus Andrade, Eddie Kingston versus Claudio, Kenny Omega versus Ethan Page to determine who's the best Canadian wrestler. Back in a moment with more Observer Live. People here arguing with me that AEW never does screw jobs or interference or anything like that. Literally the last big match involving Adam Copeland and Christian had everybody and their mother interfering in this match. There were people brawling in front of the referee. Like, it's going to happen tonight. It's going to happen. Didn't Brian Cage run in on the MJF match there against were, Jay White? There were plenty of uh, whatever it was, plenty of screwy mm-hmm. finishes. We had that uh, women's match a week ago where seventy-five people got involved. It was like eighty-five things going on. No, I'm not talking like someone's going to say ring the bell. I'm talking somebody's going to screw somebody. It happens all the time. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you? WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, As noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. You also get Observer Archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never You'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while. 